Hello, welcome to a 3 d learning course. About me. My name is Raymond Banavichus. You can call me Ray. I love Flash. I mainly create online Flash games. I worked with a 3 d before when it was in version 3 and even created a couple of small commercial projects. But now I want to remember it and learn what's new in version 4. About this course, I will try to keep this course in casual learning sharing style, so mainly I will be learning away 3D version 4 and recording myself. Course flow, we will start by breaking down away 3D in its basic components, then we will try to combine those components in different workflows, and in the end I will show how it's possible to combine a way 3D with MVC Express Live. Now, MVC Express Live is still in experimental stage, it's not available for public, and I hope it will be when I finish this course. So, today we will learn how to set up a simple a way 3D project. We will get my lesson files, we'll get a way 3D framework files, we will set up a simple project. I will read you Hello OA3D simple application and well, we will try to run it. About the software I will be using. I am using OA3D last stable version 4. Uh, I will be using Flex SDK last version 4.6. For ActionScript 3 development, I use Flash Develop. Uh, you can use any tool you're familiar with. I also will use Tortoise JIT to get my files. So let's get started. We will start by getting lesson files. You can get it from GitHub, from MVC Express, Away 3D, Playground, Repository. We need to copy JIT path. Then what we want to do, we want to clone it to our local system. I will use workspace folder for that. I will use JIT clone. I will paste that path that I, we just copied and click OK. Now this will copy all those lesson files into our workspace folder. You can see new folder MVC Express Way 3D Playground. Inside of it, you see SRC folder. This is where lesson files are located, so mainly ActionScript 3 classes. Also, you see two folders libsource and pb. Those are for a Way 3D framework. So, next step to do, we need to get a Way 3D framework. If you go into those folders, you will get a README text that will explain exactly what you need to do. So we go to Away3D Downloads. We want to download the latest Away3D 4.0 version source files. You can also use SVT, but I like source files because it's better for learning. You can read those files. So, what we want to do, we want to copy away3d and com folders to this folder. Also, we need to copy pb files into pb folder. So, those are located here. This is it. Now you have lesson files and a way to d framework files. Next, we want to create an ActionScript 3 project. For that, I will use Flash Develop. You can use other Action 3 editing tools. Um, I will go to Project, New Project. 
I could create empty project, but I will choose Action Strip project instead. It will automatically set it up better. I will uh, pick correct location. This is our NVC Express Way 3D Playground folder where our lesson files are located. I will rename it a bit and I click OK. It will warn that folder is not empty, but it's OK. Now let's delete a couple of things. We don't need lib folder and this main class. Those were automatically created. So, let's set this project up. Uh, first thing that we need to do is make sure that we have a correct player version. And uh, we can do it in project properties. Stage 3D require at least 11.1 .1 flash player. So we will change it to that. Next, we need to pick correct SDK. I recommend using the latest one. Currently it's 4.6. Now remember we put a way 3D framework class here in lib source. We need to add it as a source path. Let's find our XSRs classes. You can find them in source home mind script path. Here you will see a set of folders. Currently it's only one exercise folder. It's E1 Hello Away 3D. In the future I will create much more folders here for new exercises. Let's open Hello Away 3D. This will be our first main class. Let's set it as document class. Now let's try to run this. If you set it up correctly, it will run without problems. So here you go. You see the first Away 3D application. I want to explain Hello Away 3D class in details for you. But first I want to tell you how I did it. I used Away 3D example files. Um, and I highly recommend getting it. You can get it from away 3D site and it contains very nice examples how to use away 3D framework. It's a very good learning source. What I did, I took one of those classes and simplified it down to smallest class possible. I will use it as a base for all other experiments and learnings. Let's start with variables. We have a view. View is like a window. Window we will be using to look into our 3D world. We have a scene. Now scene is a 3D world. We will use it to put different 3D objects. Away starts. Away starts is just little utility to see how Away 3D performs rendering. Also, we have light. We can't use 3D without light. We will just have darkness. To get started, we'll use point light and start with light picker. We need at least one material. We will just have red color material for now. And we need at least one object. We will just use simple cube mesh. Now, let's quickly examine the sequence, how we will set up our 3D world. First, we will in the engine, we will create our lights, we will set up camera, we will init materials, objects, and we will start our rendering. In init engine, 
uh, we set up our stage basically we don't want it to scale uh, we will create view now view 3d is that window into 3d scene I was talking about we will put it on our stage by adding child now we need a scene but instead of creating a new scene 3d object we will just take a default one that was created with U3D and we will add the stats on the screen next as I mentioned we need a light so simplest light possible is point light we will add it into our 3D scene and we will create a light picker using that light Next, we will init our camera. Now, I created manager class for that, little helper class, because it contains a lot of stuff like mouse movement, keyboard presses to, hold, to, to move a camera. So, a lot of things that I don't want to care about at the moment. I just want a simple hover camera that circles around my object. And does nothing else. So for this manager, I just pass a 3D view, pass initial distance to that 3D view, and I also send the point light. I want that point light to follow camera. So everywhere my camera goes, that light will go. Next, we will create our material. For now, we will just use simple red material. And we need it to tell what kind of light picker it will use or what kind of lights it will be rendering. So for now, it will just render our point light. Now let's create object. We will create a cube. So first we need to create geometry. So geometry contains vertices, and other 3D points. We will just create it by using cube geometry class. Then by using cube geometry we can create a mesh. For mesh we will need cube geometry that defines all those points in space and we need a material. The cube or mesh needs some kind of material we will use just red. Then we add this cube into our 3D scene. Now this is it for setting up project. But if you run only with that, it will not work. Because uh, a way 3D needs rendering if you want something to be seen. For that we will add enter frame event. And in enter frame we will say view render this is it you have your first away 3d application you can use your mouse to move it around or keyboard uh, w a s d also you can use z and x to change the distance now I ran very quickly through details of every of those objects. I want to focus on every aspect like uh, materials or colors or camera into next exercises. Thanks for listening.